The goal is to make it easy to say yes to, hard to say no to, and make it the client's idea every single time. Listen to me, when I go to somebody's house and they got shit going on and I knock on their door, like, like they ain't got time for me. Unless like I say something that they want to make time for me. So what do I say? Hi, my name's Andy Elliott. By the way, what do I do? Put my hand on my chest. Hi, my name's Andy Elliott, like that. Hi, how you doing? Why? Because I'm respectful. Are most solar guys in their 20s? Yeah. How old are most homeowners? In their 40s, 50s? When they see someone that comes up to their door talking to them about saving money that's the same age as their children, what do you think they think? Get off the porch. So what do you gotta do? You gotta impress them very quickly. Does that make sense? When I go talk to a client, let you in on a little secret. I don't give a shit if he's a doctor and he's a billionaire. Doesn't matter, you're a two-year-old. I'm gonna articulate my words and explain the way this works as if a two-year-old could understand it. I'm also gonna talk to you as if I have the same value that you have because we're both human beings. I'm gonna talk to you as if you're a two-year-old. But I am gonna show up with that confidence, that love, and as if it's no big deal, and as if you're not better than me. Some of you in here, you're shy and you're introverts, and you actually talk to people as if they're better than you. Some of you, you go to houses that have nicer houses than you. Like if you live in an apartment and then you go to a person with a nice house, you may be thinking that you are smarter than you. They're not smarter than you. They're not smarter than you. But you have to understand these rules because you have to understand that your body is constantly trying to keep you safe and trying to program you. Like this guy knows more than you. He don't know more than you. This guy's better than you. No, he's not. That's bullshit. Nobody's better than you. All you have to do is keep control of your mind at all times. I'm gonna tell you how to sell real quick. Let me tell you how to sell anybody. Anyone. Number one, you keep their goals at the center of the decision. When I go to close you, you're so important to me that I literally, when I'm talking to you or when I'm presenting my product to you or whatever it is I want you to do or whatever it is that I've agreed will solve your, your problem, the solution, dude, I put myself in your shoes. I can feel the pain you feel. I can feel the frustration you feel. I can feel what your mind must feel like based on all the information that I gathered from you. And literally, I just become you and I become you live in the cell and that's how I can close you because I know everything you're feeling. My level of understanding empathy is almost sick. It's 2024, stuff's more expensive, okay? Money, you know, like is down here, the things cost up here. People are naturally gonna be apprehensive to spend more money. But that's the reason why you gotta be good at sales. You gotta paint pictures, you gotta tell stories, you gotta influence, you gotta persuade, you gotta make, you know, relationships with people. You gotta know how to build rapport. You gotta make trust. Salespeople are so dumb, they don't even get people to trust them. Whose job is to make sure that they feel like they, that they wanna own it? Yours. Dude, if you're tossing people the keys and going for a ride in the back seat, you are an order taker. You're not a closer. So my goal is to help challenge you to get better in some areas. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, how would you like the new vehicle titled? Uh, Matt, would you like it just in your name or you and your wife? Which way? Your yeah, shirts? Sure, come on inside. I'm gonna flip and roll with them. Am I right? When I go and he says, hey, well, Andy, hold on. I need to think about it. What do we wanna do? Do you wanna challenge him on the spot or do you wanna advance the sell forward? Hey, totally understand. Of course you need to think about it. Listen, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers. So when you go home, you got something to think about. Would that be fair? Could I get that for you? Okay guys, always maintain a positive attitude slash demeanor, no matter what. It doesn't matter what they say. They could say something that offends you, that upsets you, that isn't what you wanted to hear. It doesn't matter. Always maintain positive. Why? Because if you decrease your state, if you change your energy down, if you get deflated and they feel that, what does a dog do when it fears that you're gonna be scared of it? It wants to bite you more, okay? Never, ever change your state. Never change your demeanor. Never change your attitude. Always keep it in a positive, uplifting state. I assure you, it will carry you very far in a negotiation.